Welcome to Sneak Peek for Simple Steps Raster, a revolutionary new program for CorelDRAW. Simple Steps Raster is a raster based separation automation system that works directly in CorelDRAW and does everything from separating simple logo bitmaps all the way up to high end design separations directly in CorelDRAW. You can see this Camaro design that I've got set up here Muscle Car Madness Camaro Rally 2012. Lots of effects in here. Now I have in this also an image that I downloaded from the internet. I've got an RGB image. We'll go ahead and select that and see what I'm talking about. RGB bitmap on layer 1. So now with Simple Steps Raster, I'm no longer limited to vector and monochrome in CorelDRAW for my designs. I can separate anything. I can separate a photograph. I can separate a logo that comes to me from a client as a bitmap or any other art that comes to me from a client as a bitmap. I no longer have to go through the expense of getting everything traced and converted to vector to color separate it and work with it in Corel. For example, if I had to have this Camaro traced in vector, it would take me four to six hours to do that. Now I don't need to do that. I can just color separate the image. And I can also add vector elements to it. As you can see up there, I put the rally text across the top of the window. I could also put logos on the card. So now that we have Simple Steps Raster, we're able to save time and money and able to do things even with our four color presses and our six color presses that we really never imagined doing before very quickly and very easily in CorelDRAW without the expense of buying automation systems and Adobe Photoshop or standalone plugins to do these things. Take a look at a couple of things here, a couple of cars I downloaded and we'll take a look at this. Here's a red car and actually what I did is I took this and I vector traced around the outside and then I just power clipped that and automotive image into the into the vector object and now it's been masked out. It doesn't have any background. You can see here that there's a background but here this one didn't have it. It took me about five minutes to go around the outside with the Bezier tool. Did the same thing here with the Camaro. Now let's take a look at how this works. We're going to separate two cars in less than five minutes. I'll go ahead and I'll take a look here on page two. Now let's say I wanted to do some design work with this but I want to color separate first and then I could work with my color separations and start to add brushes and effects and text to it. Well, separating this is really a piece of cake. First of all, I'm just going to go ahead and go to bitmaps, convert to bitmaps. I'm going to do 300 dpi transparent background, make sure anti-aliasing is turned off and select OK. Then I'm going to come up here to bitmap and actually I'm going to just click on auto adjust and that'll just clean up my colors a little bit because this is a JPEG. Now to separate this, I'm simply going to go to my advanced tools and I'm going to go to simple steps raster. And I'm just going to go over here and click on the generation tab generate separations and I'll click on HSB extract and that will extract my H hues saturation and brightness in draw so I'll be able to see what colors are in my design and then I'll be able to make some decisions about what I want to do as far as proceeding with the separation process is concerned and I can also make some adjustments at that point and then finish my separations directly in draw. Now this is different than simulated process and process printing but it works and you'll see that when we go ahead and finish our separation here. I'm going to go ahead and let this finish and then we'll continue when we finish processing here. That actually took about 30 to 40 seconds in total. Now that we've extracted our hue, saturation, and brightness, we can take a look at some things here. I'll go to my object manager and you can see that here I have my brightness and I can turn that off and then I have my saturation here and I can turn that off and then I can see what colors are in here. Now coming from a JPEG you get a lot of destruction in your images and you get a lot of color in your images coming from JPEGs that you need to clean up but you can do that very easily directly in draw. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to my effects adjust and I'm going to go to hue saturation and lightness. I'm going to go to my greens and I'm going to turn that lightness all the way up. I'm going to go to actually I'll go ahead and lock my preview so you can see what happens and that'll take that green out of there. And then I'm going to go to my cyan here and I'll just bring all of that lightness all the way up. And we'll slide this all the way up and let that process. And you'll see that cyan disappear. I'm going to go to, let's say, my yellow because I don't want that. I'm not going to need it. I'm just going to need the red. I'll bring that up and get rid of that. I'm going to go to my blue and my magenta also. I'll go to my blue and we'll go ahead and get rid of that. 
And some of that's the reflections of color and things like that. And then when you convert it to JPEG, you end up with a lot of different colors. But I don't think we need this magenta either. And I'll go ahead and select OK. And let that process. Now you can see very easily here I'm just cleaning up. Now we have some other tools we can use for cleanup, but there's my red. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take a look at the preview and see what we get. And yes, we've got a very photographic looking color separation based on red, black, and a highlight white. Simply go back to my Simple Steps raster and then click on Generate Separations. And that will process my color separations with the colors black, red, and white. Go ahead and let this process. It'll take probably about 30 seconds in total. But you can see what I've done here is I've taken a photographic image and reduced it down to three colors. And it looks absolutely photographic and it's going to make an excellent print when you convert it to halftones. So now we can take things like autos and motorcycles and choppers and images from the internet and images clients provide to us and literally separate them in a matter of seconds and then have them as an art asset in CorelDRAW set up with its color separations and then we can start to add vector or what have you to this and create our design similar as I did with the Camaro or we could have set the design and then color separate it at all but I wanted to separate two cars in this session or this sneak peek just to demonstrate the power of Simple Steps Raster and how quickly you can go through and color separate your designs and be ready to send things out to press and be able to do things we never imagined we'd be able to do directly in Corel Draw throughout the history of screen printing. Typically in the past all this is done with an Adobe Photoshop. Now we're able to do it all directly in Corel Draw. And once everything is separated, it's as easy as working with Corel Draw and the objects are as easy to handle as the objects in Corel Draw. Now when that finishes processing, you won't see anything here on the screen, but if we go view simulate over prints, we can see our separation with our car and the background. Now this white is a simulation of the white, hi white highlight, we had to make that with a monochrome and do a little bit of blurring. It looks a little bit grainy, and you can see that it is the preview. The actual white is down here, and that's the one you would print out. And behind that is our t-shirt color, which is down here in our object manager, which would be right here, t-shirt color. And I can select on that, and I can change that, and we can see what our car would look like on different colors of substrates. We also have a simulated white base set up under here. If that's 100% black, I can see how that's going to look with the black. Now, we'll get into full training on how to use this, but you can see the power that's available to us now with the Simple Steps raster and how fast we can separate things like this. And what we do is if we were setting this up on a black, we could go back into our color separations and change our white base and make some adjustments to bring it back stronger based on the color of garment that we're working with and we'll cover all that in the training. So as you can see something we never thought would be possible here directly in Corel Draw. We just separated a photographic image into three colors and we did it in less than a minute. Let's go ahead and take a look here at page three. Here I've got the design that we we're looking back looking at looking at back here on page one. A lot of pop, a whole bunch of different objects from draw. We've got brushes and effects and all kinds of different things built into this. Let's go ahead and process this with a simple steps rip. And we'll see just exactly, not Simple Steps RIP, but the Simple Steps Raster. And we'll see just exactly how powerful this application really is. Here we've got vector, we've got textured effects, bitmaps, the whole range of objects available in Corel Draw set up in a design. Go to my Simple Steps Raster, and then I'll go ahead and click on my HSB Extract, and we'll go ahead and run that. Now once that's finished processing, here again I'm going to need to go to view and here I'll need to turn off simulated overprints. And here I'll get a preview of my colors and what my separations are going to look like. Once again, important step here, I want to go through and take a look at, actually I'm going to go back here and delete page 2 so that I can work on this page alone and see what's going on in the object manager. I'm going to take a look at my hue and my saturation brights. I guess I got some blues and greens in here, but I think with this design I'll go ahead and take care of that after I finish generating my separations. Because there's a couple of different ways you can work with these things when you're working your way through your separation. But I'm happy with this preview. I think we're going to be just fine. Yes, we've got some red and things we'll need to clean up, but that's not going to be a big, big deal. I'm going to go ahead and click on Generate Separations, and we'll convert this design to separations directly in Corel Draw with our Simple Steps raster. Once my design is finished separating, I'm simply going to go up here to View and turn on Simulate Overprints. 
And there I can see my color separation set up on the monitor directly in Corel's RAW. Now here I can go through and I can look at my different colors here. For instance, the cyan, I'm not going to want that, so I can turn that off. I'm not going to want the magenta, and I can see how that's going to affect my separation. I'm not going to want the green. I'll go ahead and turn that off, and you'll see that that disappears there. I'm not going to want the blue. don't think we're going to need that, or we can get by without it. Yes, we lost some color here, but we want to get this down to a four-color design. That's where we are right now. If we have a white base and a white highlight, obviously we'll be with white base. We'll print black, red, yellow, and then our white highlight. But you can see literally here in a couple of minutes I went through this. Now you see some white peaking through here through the base, but that's just because we've created a simulated base preview because we set this up as duotone bitmaps, and a duotone bitmap white won't show up in simulating overprint. So we had to use a monochrome technique to do that and blur and make it look correct, and when it did it just peaks out a little bit. But with the actual underbase, no shades in here, you won't have that. And I can demonstrate that here. Go ahead and turn that off. We turn this on. And you can see you won't see any black color or anything coming through here. But we're using the preview just for us to get an idea of what the image is going to look like with our base. Go ahead and turn this off. Here again, I could go through and look at different garment colors and scenarios. Or I could just go from here and put out my separations with halftones through simple sets and then go ahead and go out to print. So we've looked at the high end and we've seen that we can color separate images literally in a matter of minutes. Truly something revolutionary in the industry of screen printing. Being able to work through color separations that quickly. What about something like a simple logo from a company? Here we've got the Chili's logo and let's say we got this from the client in a bitmap format. We'd have to recreate this in vector to color separate and draw but no more. When you get these files from clients or client logos and rasters you can separate those in Simple Steps Raster. This object actually has some white in the background. I want to get rid of that. So I'll go ahead up here and I'll go ahead and first thing I want to do is we'll go ahead and get rid of these other pages just because I don't want to have all of these objects in here working in draw. We've got a lot of complex things going on here. We'll go ahead and delete this page also. Actually I'll leave this here for now. Take this, we'll go to bitmap and we'll select edit bitmap and we'll open this up in Corel Photo Paint. We'll just knock out the white background. Once that's opened up in Photo Paint, I'll go ahead and maximize this and we'll zoom out. We'll just come over here to our masking tools and we'll come down and get the magic wand tool. I want to get rid of the white background, so I'll just click here. I'll zoom in and see how we're doing with our pixels here. And I'm going to bring this in just a little bit. So I'll go to Mask, Mask Outline, Expand, select OK. I'm going to come up here and take this background off of here. Make sure I'm on the magic wand tool and hit the delete key and now I've deleted the background. I might want to smooth this out a little bit just so we get a little bit of a better print. For that, I'll go ahead and go to Mask, Invert, and then I'm going to go to Effects, Blur. I'm going to go to the Smart Blur. You can see that that just smooths things out a little bit. I'll select OK. I'll go ahead and save this back into Draw. Then I'll go ahead and change back here to Draw, and I've got this set up. There we go. We're ready to go. Now, I would probably take out this register mark and put that back in vector, but for the sake of the video here, just to demonstrate how quickly we can color separate these things, we'll go ahead and do this with Simple Steps Raster. So everything from the high end to your client supplied art and logo files separated directly in Corel Draw literally in a matter of seconds. Now here we'd have a red, a green, we'd have some black overprinted for the shading, and then some white overprinted on top of that. Simple logo, four colors separated in less than a minute directly here in our Simple Steps Raster in Corel Draw. We'll let that finish processing. We'll go back to View and we'll turn off Simulated Overprints and we can see what we're getting for our color here. Come up here and turn off my brightness and my saturation. And you can see that what we're going to get is we're going to get blends of black and different colors to create this look of the darker green coming through our hue and saturation. So I'm happy with this where it's at. I'll go ahead and click on Generate Separations and we'll process this logo separation. Once my separations have finished processing, so we need to go back here to View, Simulate Overprints, and there I can see my separation set up by Simple Steps Raster. Once again, that white peaking in the underbase won't be there. That's just because of the preview that we built in for the base. And you can see everything looks almost exactly identical to what it did in the photograph. You just take this and convert it to halftones and print it out. 
set it up on press and you'll have your project actually completed all the way through production. So we can see simple SEPS raster, absolutely revolutionary. Here in a matter of 15 minutes with the tutorial and all the commentary, I've gone through two cars, a high-end design, well actually one car, a high-end design with a car and a simple client supplied logo. So imagine the time you're going to be able to save with simple SEPS raster and imagine the level at which you're going to be able to design and work in Corel Draw with Simple Seth Raster being able to easily do the high-end looks and all the different types of designs that you see on the shelves and the retail and all of the racing designs and all the sports designs and things like that or photographs and images. Things we never thought we could do in Corel Draw will now be able to do literally with a few clicks and in a matter of minutes. So we'll go ahead and wrap here. This is our final sneak peek for Simple Seth Raster and we'll see you when we launch the product and we get out the full tutorial training series for the Simple Seth Raster.